Hi everyone, this is Chicho. It's been a while since I put out a video, so I thought it was time to do a little update. Now, we're in early December 2012 and we've hit the rainy season. And what that means is it rains a lot in Vancouver. Anywhere between five, six, seven months out of the year, it rains here. And what, what that means for me personally regarding the language of mathematics is it prevents me from going outside and making the math videos. So what's going to happen for the next five months or so is I'm going to put out maybe a handful of videos not specifically related to the units and ratio section that we started in the series for, but just some random stuff regarding mathematics that I've wanted to produce. Okay, And that's going to take us until um, mid-spring 2013. And, uh, once once we've we've hit that time frame what i'm going to do is bring all the videos together we, that we put together for series four four a now i guess and put out a torrent then and then that'll kick us off into series four b which you, you know which will give us time to finish the units and ratios section and you know by the end of the shooting season for 2013 we should have a nice set of videos which covers units and ratios okay in addition to uh, you know just a handful of videos that we're going to try to put out in the next few months, um, I'm going to try to put some uh, text together that's going to sort of uh, bind, you know, it's going to act as a glue for the videos, right? Because the whole idea of the site is is to create an online video textbook, right? Based on um, some of the important topics that I believe that should be taught in high school mathematics all the way up to calculus and probability and statistics. So what I'm going to work on uh, in the next few months as well is writing some of the text that's going to glue all the videos together. Basically, you know, text uh, explaining some of the stuff that's going on and then have the video instruction and then exercises and solutions and just continuously build that and, you know, put all the videos together as uh, with the text as sort of a chapter in an online video textbook. And as far as this year goes, 2012, uh, we got a fair bit done. We, we set up the website, we got our platform set up, we organized the data, we got the table of contents set up, the index set up, and you know, we got a pretty uh, good idea of how the information is going to be presented and how everything is going to flow, right? And uh, that's where we are regarding math in real life and the language of mathematics. And um, you know, I, I hope you like it, I hope you're making use of it. Um, if you do have the means, if you can support this project, uh, if you feel like donating, there's a donate button on the site and I can guarantee you your donations will be put to good use okay and uh, that's where we are uh as far as uh, the 420 aspect of the project goes uh, I got two words for you Washington and Colorado right and um, what happened last elections was Washington State and Colorado voted to legalize the recreation of use of cannabis and the legalization actually got more votes than the president that Obama got right which says a lot and a huge thank you has to go out to grassroots organizations which mobilize and start presenting data and just show the mathematics of what America's war on drugs has done which basically has been devastating our communities has been has been destructive to society and uh, you know people look at the data and went wow this is insane and they voted to legalize the recreation of use of cannabis right and if you want to get a good grasp of uh, where we stand right now regarding America's war on drugs I put up a little article uh, you know called it this um, a brief summary of America's war on drugs and I put it on 420 math and I provide the link in the description description of this video and um, that sort of starts off uh, giving you a little history uh, starting from the 1970s early 1970s where America's war on drugs really kicked into high gear with Nixon and it walks you through all the way up to um, you know for the history aspect of it where Reagan kicked you know just kicked it up even further with their no campaign and uh, and then you know broken up in the sec uh, segments and you know present a fair bit of data of uh, what America's war on drugs has cost uh, the United States specifically uh, you know how many trillions of dollars it's, it's done and how much destruction is unleashed and you know the racist aspect of America's war on drugs and you know talks about the you know what ha you know what what the implications are that uh, Washington and Colorado um, with them legalizing right and where we might be going with this and this is just the beginning right this is just the first step and um, it it will 
continue and it's going to grow and America's war on drugs is going to end. Right now there are states within the United States that have come out and said, hey, this is insane. We're spending uh, billions of dollars fighting the federal war on drugs where the education system is collapsing, the healthcare system is collapsing, the infrastructure is collapsing, right? And this has gone beyond the United States as well. Other countries have come out and said, states within the United States are legalizing. Why are we fighting America's war on drugs and devast devastating our countries, right? Mexico, Colombia, a lot of other countries have come out and said they're going to have to reevaluate America's war on drugs and uh, figure out what they're going to do now that Washington and Colorado have legalized, okay? And again, if you do like this work, there's a list of uh, grassroots organizations on the site that you can support. And these are the people that actually were able to mobilize and bring us legalization to Colorado, um, Colorado and Washington State. And they do need our help and they do need our support and they can get a lot done as is obvious with what just happened uh, you know, a few weeks ago. And regarding Chicho, um, well, I've, I've gone into full blogging mode now. Uh, I'm writing about anything I feel like writing about. Math in Real Life 4, uh, uh, Language of Mathematics, we're well on our way. I'm, I'm very happy with the site. And, um, you know, the videos are coming out well. I've, I'm learning how to use uh, my equipment, uh, my new equipment, and, you know, the sound, uh, and, uh, you know, the ed new editing uh, software. Uh, 420 Math. Fantastic. Um, you know, there's a huge legalization movement going on internally within the United States. There's a huge legalization movement now going on externally, or let's let's say ending the war on drugs, or or reevaluation of America's war on drugs because it's uh, it's creating a lot of devastation in the world. And as far as Chicho goes, um, getting back into writing uh, feels good and. Uh, you know, once I get into full speed, uh, you can see some of the larger articles uh, will start appearing on the site. Okay, and again, it's not just politics and economics, uh, everything's fair game, and uh, I do plan on doing this for quite some time. Okay, uh, thanks a lot for hanging around. Hopefully this update is, uh, you know, answers most of your questions. If you, if you have any other questions, you know, post a comment and I will reply to you um, as soon as possible, right? And uh, if you have any concerns, let me know and I'll try to address them, okay? And that's it for now. Hopefully, uh, you know, the rainy seasons end sooner rather than later. Uh, it is nice. Rain is good. Water is amazing, right? Uh, water is amazing. Um, but uh, it does slow me down regarding producing videos. But it does kick me into full mode of uh, writing, which is really what Chicho was about. Okay. Uh, that's it for now. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.